Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a row at the end of a worksheet using Office Scripts. Uh, so this is one of the most common question I get, which is how do I add a row at the end of a worksheet uh, using an API? Unfortunately, there isn't a single API to be able to do that, but it is very easy to use the existing APIs uh, to write a simple function that does that for you. So for instance, I have a, a worksheet here named Sheet 3 and it has a, a table and uh, some rows of data in here already. It doesn't need to be in a table, it could just be also on a just plain simple worksheet in a regular range. Uh, so the goal is to add um, a row, a single row at the end. So as you can see, it already has some data and you want this to work dynamically regardless of how much data there is. So um, to do that, I will uh, begin by opening the task pane and I'll open a, a new script. Uh, so to begin with, I'm gonna get a reference to the sheet where I wanna add the row to. So, um, so I'll say const sheet, workbook, get worksheet, and the name is sheet three. So now that I have the sheet, um, so let's figure out the, the data that I wanna add. In real life scenario, this may be something that comes out of another function or maybe uh, a power automation flow step right before this sends the row for you. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna just um, hard code the data. So let's say I wanna add uh, a single row and uh, let me call that uh, data. And because it's a single row, I'm gonna use a, a one dimensional array for now. And uh, so let's just, I'll make up some data to match what I already have here. Right, so I'm gonna type in as many columns I have. You don't necessarily need to, or you can like go more or less, it really doesn't matter. All right, so this is the data I wish to add at the end. Now, um, the the tricky part is to be able to compute the address. So for instance, the address that I'm highlighting here, that is the, uh, the place where this data needs to go. Uh, so to do that, uh, you need to run a series of uh, API commands. One would be to find out how much data there is already in this sheet, and then figure out kind of the next empty row, and um, and then get the first cell where you want to start the the range update and compute how much data there is, and then simply update that uh, that range. So to do that, um, there is one API, very useful API called um, use range, on a sheet. So I'm gonna get a reference to the get use range. And I'll just simply display its address. So just so you can see. All right, um, so now, now that I have the use range, I can then um, get the last row and then just compute the next row address. So to do that, I'll say const um, start cell, and off of the use range, I'll get the last row. All right, and then get uh, get the first cell. So I'll do zero, zero, which means the zero row, zero column of that row, which in that case I'll get, um, you know, this particular cell where there is data. So, uh, but I want the next row cell. So I'll get, um, um, get offset from there. So get offset range. You can say, give me one row down and the same column. So that is the starting cell. So I'll also display uh, its address, just so you can see that. Uh, so now that I have that, I'm going to compute um, how much ex how much do I need to extend this row by. So because I'm only adding one row, I just need to extend the column. So uh, I'll say target range, and off of the starting cell, I'll do 
uh, get resize range, which means how much do I need to extend this by. Um, so delta rows, I don't want any more rows. Uh, so, I'll, so that's zero. So how many more columns do I need to extend by? Remember, I already have one row and one column here. So I'm gonna just simply get um, the data array, which is a one dimensional uh, array value. And it has a property called length, which gives the number of columns since it's, it's the delta. So I'm gonna subtract by one because I already have the first row, first column accounted for here. And now that I have the target range, um, I can simply set its values. Now set values takes a two dimensional array object uh, because you can use the same API to update not just one row, but many rows. For now, um, I know I'm just using one row, so I can just directly put that in the first row. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. So if I run this, uh, I should see this um, row that I've hard coded in this code for testing to be added at the end of this, um, this worksheet. So let's see if I run this. Um, so you can see that it added the data and you'll also see it um, displayed the address, so which is A1 through E76, that was the use range. And then, um, and this was the starting cell um, and then it computed the address and updated. I can run it many times, it'll just simply keep updating the, the last row. Uh, if you wanna reuse this in other parts of the, the script, you can extract the logic out to another function. Let's just call it um, add row. And it accepts two arguments. The first one is the, the worksheet itself, where the data needs, uh, the row needs to be added. And then it'll take the data. And the data, what I'm doing here is defining the types, which is required um, so that the function knows what it's getting and it can give you auto completion uh, as you're coding along. So and then for the data, it needs the, I need to define the type. So, um, and the type can be like each cell can be either a string or a, a number or a Boolean. And it is, a, it is an array. So um, I'm just defining an argument called data that ex expects um, an array of either string number or boolean. It doesn't need to return anything, so, um, right, so uh, I can just simply move all these lines right into this function. Uh, and then just call this um, function, add row, pass in the sheet, and then the data. So that'll do the, that'll do the job. So if I run this now, let me just reorient it and run it. Okay, so it's doing the same work, but all contained within a, a function so that uh, it's easy to reuse it if you wanna call the same function from some other location in the script. So that's about it. Um, so if you like this video, please subscribe, like, uh, if you have a questions or uh, have another scenario in mind that you wish to see videos for, uh, instructions for, uh, please leave a comment. And the source code uh, and then the, the description um, for this particular sample, uh, ch check out the link. Uh, there is a, a link in the description that will take you to the source code if you wish to reuse it. All right, thanks for watching.